So today, we're gonna use close reading strategies to help us find that evidence. And I know how familiar, familiar you are with using close reading strategies. Can someone just name one thing that maybe we do as close readers? Marilyn, why don't you share? Um, you had to circle words that you don't know and underline. Excellent. So really finding words that maybe you're unsure of and using words around that to kind of guess or figure out what they mean. Excellent. Can I hear from one more person? Gabby, why don't you... Um, you think and you write the gist like in like a sentence in chunks. It's like you get the chunks and like you get like write the gist of something that's like familiar. Excellent. So you're figuring out the main idea of a section and really rereading it. Wonderful. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay. So today, you're going to be making inferences. And an inference is when you figure out something that wasn't completely explained in the story. And you really become a reading detective. Okay. And the two things that you need in order to figure out an inference is that you need information from the text, and we call that evidence. And you're also going to be using your schema today, which means just things that you already know. Um, and you're such great readers and writers already that you have a lot of information that you've already learned about the Iroquois families, about the Iroquois people. So you're really going to incorporate that today. All right. So let's get to work. Let's start on page 22 in our book. Okay, and on page 22, there's text and there's also a photograph. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to model how to make an inference just based off of a picture. So right now on page 22, I notice that Danny is talking to his father. And something that I notice is that Danny is smiling in this picture. And his father is also smiling back at him. So I might say that Danny is feeling excited or happy because of the smile on his face. So if you listen to my words, I really used an adjective. I used what I already knew. I know that Danny is happy because of what I'm seeing. That's the evidence. Now we're going to try and do the same thing, but now we're going to use text. Okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to go to the top of page 18. Okay, so do that for me now. 